How to build a sandpit. A sandpit is a great addition to any family garden. Not only did they create a safe space where children can have fun, but they're also remarkably easy to build and maintain. You will find a full list of tools and materials you'll need at the end of this video. When choosing a location for your sandpit, be sure to pick a spot that offers both sunshine and shade at different times of the day. This will help to protect the children from the sun's rays, but also mean the sand is kept nice and dry. Being able to keep an eye on the children is also important, so it's best to build the sandpit somewhere that will be in your direct line of sight. And finally, choose a location that is relatively flat and doesn't hold excessive water, as the sandpit will need to drain naturally after rain showers. Start by checking how flat the ground is using a spirit level, but don't worry if it's not exact yet, as you can make small adjustments later. The size of your sandpit will be determined by the available space in your garden. Here, we're building a 1.8 meter long rectangular sandpit using three jumbo sleepers. These weigh around 30 kilograms, so take care or ask for help when moving them. Firstly, we're going to cut one of the sleepers in half to form the ends of the sandpit. It's easier to do this by laying the sleeper you're cutting across the two other sleepers so that it's raised. Then, measure out and mark 900 millimeters on the sleeper and draw a line. This will give you a soaring guideline. A helpful tip when marking wood is to use the 90 degree guide marker on your saw. You can then use this instead of a ruler to draw a straight line. Continue the line around both of the other visible sides so you have additional lines to follow when sawing. Then, put on your safety glasses and gloves and use a hand saw to cut the sleeper into two equal halves. It's best to seal the cut ends of the sleeper with wood preserver at this stage. Wear safety gloves whilst using the preserver and be sure to follow the safety and drying instructions on the tin. Having decided where you want to locate your sandpit, put the sleepers into position. When you're happy with your arrangement, mark their position on the ground on the outside perimeter using a spade. Then, carefully move the sleepers aside and dig a minimum of 25 millimeters of the turf out. Remove any roots or stones and make sure the area where the sleepers will be placed is level. Making adjustments by patting down the earth and removing extra soil as necessary. Now, move the sleepers back into position on the newly dug earth and, using a spirit level, check they are level. Once you are happy, move the sleepers aside and measure out enough weed fabric to cover the entire base of the sandpit. This may mean using several different sections of fabric. This will allow water to drain out, but will stop garden weeds from finding a new home in your sandpit. Then, cut with heavy duty scissors and put into place. The fabric will soon be held down by the sleepers, but you can further secure it by pushing some nails through and into the soil. Next, move your sleepers back into position on top of the weed fabric as it's now time to secure them. To do this, put on your safety glasses and drill two pilot holes into one corner of the long sleeper using the 10 mm flat wood drill bit. Then, attach the 32 mm flat wood drill bit and drill approximately 10 mm into the wood. This will allow for the screw head to be recessed. Take one of the 150 mm exterior coach screws and place it into the hole before tightening it with a 17 mm ratchet socket head. Repeat this process for the other three corners. The structure of your sandpit is now in place. As the corners and edges of the sleepers can be quite sharp, it's best to sand them down to avoid any cuts and scrapes. We're using a palm sander to achieve this finish. Before sanding, be sure to put on a dust mask and safety glasses. The sandpit is now complete and you're ready to add your sand. To fill our sandpit, we are using 225 kilograms of play sand. When filling yours, remember that you don't want the sand to come right to the top. It's important to keep the sandpit dry and free from creepy crawlies, so cover it with a sheet of tarpaulin or a wooden cover, like this one when it's not in use. All that's left to do now is to add some toys and then your sandpit is ready to be enjoyed. 
Have a great summer. Here is the list of the tools you'll need to build your sandpit. And here are the materials you will use. And this is the recommended safety equipment needed.